Today we're going to talk about a little bit of a controversial subject and it's about a huge mistake that I made when I was starting out with my painting practice. And actually this tends to be quite a controversial subject in the art community in general. So I can already feel like this is going to be a hot topic. and welcome back to my channel. My name is Margot Halleck. I've been a professional commercial artist for over 17 years and I want to help give you the tools and the confidence to take your art practice to the next level. I want to tell you a little story of when I was shopping for my first watercolor supplies. Yes, I didn't always own watercolor paints, and just like everyone, I had to start from scratch, building my own art supply collection and learning what to buy. Like most people, I went to the art store, and being surrounded by so many different brands, colors, and types of watercolor, it was already so overwhelming as it was. And then I started looking at the price tags, and I was shocked because, you know, why did a single tiny tube of blue paint cost a whopping $20 when there was a box set of 24 paints by another brand, you know, um, a couple of feet away that cost a fraction of that. So just like most beginners, I decided to get the best value for my budget, or so it seemed. And I settled on a box of watercolors while the salesperson was assuring me that student grade watercolors was a good place to start. It seemed like, you know, the, the best choice at the time, you know, practice with cheap paints first and then when you get good enough, transition to the good stuff. It seemed logical, right? My first watercolor set was in fact a lower quality of paints known as student or academic grade watercolors. And while many artists, including professionals, um, either use them full time or mix them into their work, I personally think that they're bad news. Cheaper brands and student grade paints are always cheaper because they use lesser quality pigments and more additives, fillers, and binders in the paint than their artist grade counterparts. Think of it as a watered down version of the real deal. They're cheaper by design so that the manufacturer is able to bring the cost down by adding more other stuff to the mix and diluting the amount of pigment you get. So I spent about a year on these student grade watercolors and got increasingly frustrated when it felt like I was constantly having to fight my paints. Things that seemed really basic like um, mixing colors, getting smooth, pretty transitions, and even getting my colors to, to pop on the page were a huge struggle. And at one point, I even doubted that watercolors were the right thing for me to use or to keep pursuing because it was so hard. And little did I know that it was actually the paints themselves that were making my job infinitely harder. So thankfully I didn't quit because one day I was looking for a specific color that wasn't in my box set and I ended up buying a tube of pro grade paints by Winsor & Newton and suddenly it was like wow this is what I've been missing? It changed everything because it was no longer a fight between me and my watercolor. They were doing all the things that I wanted them to do without all that extra work and drama. And it's actually really hard to put into words what it feels like to suddenly have something that was holding you back cooperate with you and become easier. Now I realize that most people starting out do not have an unlimited budget when it comes to purchasing their first art supplies. But here's how I want you to think about it. Buy less colors by higher quality. In life, it's always a push and pull between what you want and what you prioritize. So my philosophy is that instead of getting a box of 24 or 48 or 96 student grade watercolors that are going to be hard and frustrating to work with, get six small tubes of professional artist grade watercolors. I happen to think it's an added benefit to be learning your technique on the real thing. I mean, you're not gonna learn how to drive a car by practicing on a scooter, right? I know it's not the perfect analogy by any means, but I do think that 
learning how to work with the real thing is part of your learning curve. And in fact, using less colors is going to help you with understanding color theory and more of the fundamentals faster. So how do you identify the right grade and quality level for your paints? Right on the label, it should say artist watercolor or professional watercolor. Daniel Smith says extra fine watercolors. Um, if it doesn't say anything like that, or it says student or academic watercolors, walk the other way. And while it's true that not all brands are created equal, and that say a Winsor & Newton Cotman student grade paint will be far better than an obscure Amazon brand of paints, I personally still insist that you're better off learning and getting the experience you need with the real thing even if it means that your paint box has less colors in it as a result. And I would love to know what you think. Have you used student grade paints before? And if so, did they work for you? You might totally disagree with my philosophy and plenty of people do because like I said, it's a really hot topic in the art world and the art community. Um, and ultimately, I believe that whether you go with student or pro grade paints, it's really important to have knowledge about your supplies because being detail oriented and intentional will not only improve your technique and your artistry, but I think that your choices are one of the things that will help you grow faster as an artist. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe to see more art content just like this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and for joining me and I'll see you next time.